Hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. Um, and as always, I appreciate you guys watching and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report as well as um, my day job, which is this one here that sometimes turns into the night job as well. Um, beginning of the year, I invested um, in my Inventables right here. It's a CNC machine, a great CNC machine, a very strong CNC machine, a very uh, expensive piece of equipment. And I have done some amazing things with it. Um, I love it. I love it. It's literally changed what I do as far as um, in the workshop. You know, it used to be I'd be building just straight cabinets and things. And what I originally bought this for I thought I would be using it to do production work, cutting out cabinets and things like that. But I really haven't done much of that. In fact, what I've actually been doing with this is, has been really doing more arts and craftsy type stuff. And unfortunately, um, I've come to a crossroads with it because it, it's the Inventables X-Carve. I'm so happy that I got the big machine. So happy that I got it. Um, had I bought a less expensive CNC machine, um, I don't think I'd be able to do what I do with it and having the power of it. A uh, couple of things, okay? Um, this thing will make a lot of dust and stuff, so you need to be able to have good dust collection. And if I were to use a shop vacuum on this, I'd, I'd kill it. Because generally speaking, this machine is running eight, 10 hours or more a day. You know, I get up in the morning and it's cutting away and it's going project after project. So um, I've had an Oneida Air three horsepower dust collector forever. I mean, I've had it for probably 15 years plus, maybe even longer than that. I think I've been here for eight, so probably going on 18 years. And it's great with the way I have done my dust collection to it, basically. I've taken the smaller hose that came with this, and I've got a two inch hose that I've actually fixed to it because, you know, you don't want to have this thing cutting without good dust collection, and you don't want to listen to the whine of a shop vacuum all day. That's just too damn noisy, and I think it would literally burn it out because we were talking, because at 10, 12 hours, uh, that you don't want to have. I incorporated this table into a whole work center so that way. I can use my table saw as an outfeed table for it. I can use it as a uh, staging area, craft area. That works great. The biggest problem I have though is this. The software that comes with it, easel. It's easy to use, but it's very hit or miss. It's one of those things that some pictures come out great with what I do because I've been doing uh, butcher blocks that are carvings and so it's more of a flat it's not a true three-dimensional carving for example this is a piece right here and you look at this and this is really cool if you actually look at it really really close it's actually not that much detail in it but depending on the contrast of the pieces you'll get a good look of it. You know, some of these are fantastic in the way they look. This is actually not a lot of carving on here. This is actually just one big cutout with the ball on top of it. But when you're looking at it from a distance, it looks like the black and white picture that you would see. Um, same thing with this picture of my mom on her 81st birthday. Now I've gone through and I've painted it and stuff is still working on finishing and things, but it's actually really nice on some things. But here's the problem. Not every picture can the software, and this is actually another piece that I'm working on here. This is going to be part of a taco press. Um, this is guys, daughters and stuff on there. So we're working on getting this to be able to press tacos um, with this background. So there's like a hinge that'll go here so you can put it down and press it. So this is a very unique piece. And it will do some really good stuff. 
Um, this is like a piece that we've done with Dak Prescott, including we were cutting, and this is the problem. We were cutting out the letters the night before we were actually going to see Dak Prescott. And for whatever reason, the software decided, meh, and just went off. And the whole carriage went down and, you know, slammed on the end. And this is 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to get this to get signed by Dak Prescott. And the machine just decides we're having a little brain fart. So, I can equate this to anything business-wise. And I can equate this to the Dallas Cowboys. They say you get what you pay for. And sometimes you can have something that will do a job, but it won't do the job to the fullest of it. And so Easel comes with this. And if you're buying an X-Carve, Easel is great to start on. So it's, it's simplistic to start and learn how to do stuff. Like I said, I've done some amazing things and I can probably continue to do what I'm doing with easel. But I have literally spent the whole day today trying to do a piece and I'm flustered because it's for a guy who lost his father. It's an older picture of him and his mother. And the thing is, with the software, you're basically changing the contrast on them. So as I pull the contrast up, one of them comes in really clear. You know, his mother looks great, but then I start getting like holes in the face, and he looks like a cyborg. As I go ahead and go the other way with it, then he kind of clears up, and then we lose the detail on that. And so this is where I'm at the crossroads of I'm going to have to upgrade the software that I need. And... Um, I think in talking to my friend, uh, Dave, who's another guy who has X carb and he's had some of the same problems that I've had with the software. He is looking at using vector. I think it's vector B car. And somewhere in the tune of the regular, they have a free version that you can start with, which is limited. Of course. It's kind of like when you get an app on your phone and it's free, but you get a million ads and all that. So it's kind of like you still have to pay for it. So I think the basic version is about $700. And then like the truly uh, full version, I think, is about $1,200. So it's an investment, a big investment. But I think to be able to do true three-dimensional carvings and being able to really be able to do all these pictures, because again... It's it's limited. It's basically kind of, okay, it's, it, I equate this like the difference of what you're doing in elementary school versus what you're doing in college. You're clearly a lot smarter and more advanced in college than you are in elementary school. And that's going to be the reality. So that means I've got to learn something new, which is hard for me to learn something new. But I think... As the old saying goes, if you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. And to have gone this far to get a machine that is capable of doing all kinds of stuff, to say, no, nah, I won't spend that $700 or $1,200 to do it, really is going to limit me on what I'm doing. And this is where Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys, you can take a lesson. You get what you pay for. And when you go cheap, you're limited on what you can do. So, time to start looking at tutorials on how to use X-Carve or V-Carve. I'm Mark Holmes, and, uh, well, tomorrow I'll be working on the Red Brick House. So, I'll catch you guys later.